This brief video tutorial is going to walk you through how to use Excel to add up a list automatically. Uh, I've seen way too many people uh, use Excel to make a list, then they break out the calculator to add it up. Stop doing that. Excel does it for you. Alright, so you can see I, I put in a few items, and they're, they're fake items, so obviously you wouldn't put item 1, item 2. Uh, you would list what, what the, the item is. Like, uh, you know, whatever it is. So, <clears throat> I have the quantity right here. Uh, the price of each item is right here. Uh, the total is in this section. One thing you notice, I don't have dollar signs on here. Well, here's a fast way to do it. Just highlight all the cells. And you can go up and add a do dollar sign to all of them at once by clicking right here. There you go. That easy. So it's just one less step. You don't need to type the dollar signs in by hand. And if you go over here, we're going to add the total up. And you just do it once and you can drag it down. So right here, make sure the cells collect. So select this cell. And use the auto sum key. Click on auto sum. Now I want to select this cell, which you look, it's, it's B8, so I'm selecting this cell, and then B8 comes up over here. Uh, now I want to multiply it times this cell right here, which is C8. So first I need to tell the computer that I want to multiply it. Uh, I need, I'm going to do that with the asterisk key, right there. So B8 times, and then I'm just going to click on this cell. And I press enter. So if you notice, when I select this cell, it has the equation in here right here. If I select on, if I select any other cell, it just has the number because that's all that's in there. See, click on this cell, it shows you the equation. Well now I can drag this equation all the way down and Excel knows that I want to, or I should say Excel is assuming I want to drag the equation down. So each each cell will have a little bit of a different equation automatically. It does it for you. You click on this cell, it tells you it's doing B9 times C10 or C9. This one, B10 times C10. See, as you drag it down, it pulls it down with you and it's automatic. So now if I go through and want to change anything, let's say, you know what? Uh, I want to have six bags of apples, I change it to six, press enter, it changes automatically. Or maybe, you know what, uh, the price is now $8.99. Again, changes for you. All right, so let's have the total add up automatically as well. So I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna put total right here click on this uh, empty cell, use auto sum again, and now the computer is assuming I want to add up all these uh, and put it in, in this box, which is correct. So I'm just going to press enter, and then there it does it, right there. So again, the cool thing is if I change any anything up here, it automatically adds it up here and puts it down here. So whatever item 3 is, let's say that costs uh, 12.99 instead of 99 cents. Change that. It changes it here and down here for you. Much faster than using calculator. So please use some of the power Excel has. This is just a little example of it. All right, there you go.